Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress cut and bug tutorial for beginners. This is our part 2. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we work with cut and bug. Inside last video session guys, we had discussed about some basic concept of cut and bug and also we had seen that what how the latest version of Gutenberg is replaced about the old version of Tiny MC Editor. Let's take a quick summary of our last video. So in the last video we had seen and discussed about some basics of Gutenberg. So the main change that Gutenberg introduced to content creation in WordPress is that instead of having one big chunk of content as actually we are doing with the classical classic editor for about version that is 4.x web page is now segmented into smaller parts and these parts known as blocks these blocks can be like paragraphs he headings block quotes images and galleries lists and so on in our classic editor that is up to fourth version actually we have a tiny mc editor their toolbar is something appearing like a Google document. When we want to create any page then we need to specify all the pages content inside that editor. It means we have to make a big chunk of content. But now by the invention of Gutenberg actually we can create block by block to create any pages and these blocks can be from the list. The main idea behind the Gutenberg is editor is to make the editor more experienced, more flexible, easier to customize, especially for beginner users. And also, I will tell you that in the next videos means upcoming sessions, we will also see that how can we create our own custom block and implement inside any page. Back to browser, go to post section. And inside this post, if I click on add new, this is the look and feel of using Gutenberg. The first box, this should be a title. It should be a mandatory field. Either we can go with the post or pages. This is mandatory in each case. So let's say that post number 2. After this is post, we have by default a paragraph tag writing it here so if we simply click on this placeholder this is a simple paragraph or instead of paragraph as we can see the block settings right here inside this right hand side and the block settings is telling about that is start building start with the building block of all narrative it should be the text settings and here as well color settings and advanced we can pass our own custom class so if we write simply let's say that this is a simple paragraph tag after this paragraph tag if we want to add more blocks so how can we add click on the outside of this block either we can click on this add block icon right here so click on that now we have multiple options to use these blocks if I if I close collapse that then these are the layouts called most used common blocks formatting layout elements widgets embeds and reusable all these blocks have their own blocks if suppose if we click on common blocks so inside this common block we have paragraph as we can see a preview right here inside this so paragraph here either image gallery cover heading and so on and frequently if we use any blocks then it will go inside most used tags click on that now here it is so let's say that after paragraph tag we are going to use called columns here and we can see the preview right hand side so click on the columns now after paragraph tag right here 
if we click on this paragraph, the block settings you write here inside this right hand side as well as about some settings about its toolbar icons right here as we can see that. Let's suppose that if we want to add any anchor tag inside this paragraph, simply we can add and go through this link and we can apply the hyperlink on that anchor too. Now let's go ahead and choose a layout here. So I want that is something like this. Three columns, click on that. Now here, three columns is now added. For each column actually we can add own content. So if I click on this first icon, it will open again our adding block section. So I want a simple paragraph inside the first column. Click on that. Let's say that this is column number one content. Also, I have actually installed, activated a, it's a dummy content, means our Chrome extensions. So copy all the contents from here, pasting it here. This is all about dummy text Chrome extension. If we want to or you want to install to your Chrome browser, so just you need to search about dummy text Chrome extension and you need to activate or enable inside this Chrome browser. Now for the first column, we have added some content. So I think that the content is something too large. So get rid of that. So if I copy go to the second block adding a paragraph tag pasting it here go to third column clicking on that adding a block let's take a paragraph pasting all the contents inside this so right here as we can see we have now post title let's say post description and three columns about some text so click on publish button so we are ready to publish our post click on this view link to a new tab go here to the front end page post title here as we can see this is post description something of paragraph tag and three added columns now instead of simple text we can also add the images as well inside these how can we add back to admin panel scroll down to the footer and here either we can click the add block icon of here or something here so i'm clicking on that let's choose a image or image should go inside this common blocks as we can see here so click on the image this is the image block we can click on the upload it will upload from our system or from the media library so i'm clicking on this media library clicking on that so right here we have some images already available inside of media or extra images if we want to upload inside this media gallery click on upload files and choose files from our system so back to media library click on this icon i'm to insert and right here as we can see that at the right hand side we have some this block setting and this block as we know that this is an image so right here we have some styles that is we want default something like this or circular mask so click on this or clicking on this so I think that this is not reflecting so if we change the image so I need to remove this block Again, clicking on this plus icon, clicking on this image, click on that, choosing this image. So we have, because as we have selected this circle mask, click on this default. This is our first, this is the second. So let's choose that and also if I scroll down, then we have some more image settings that is image size. So we want that is thumbnail. So this would be thumbnail. So after making thumbnail, if we pass any caption here, so let's say this is 
sample image we have added into this block. Now click on update. We are updating our post. Go to front end, reload this page and add the footer section. As we can see, here is the image actually we have added. Now let's reorder the position. We want that this image should go after this paragraph tag means after the tags so right now we have three blocks for this paragraph tag for these columns and this is for the image so we want that this image should be at the second position so how can we reorder so either click on this upper arrow on hover it is giving something move up so clicking on that now the image is placed at the second position means after this paragraph tag. Click on this update. Go here. Reload this page. Now if we scroll to top. So after this paragraph tag, we have now our thumbnail image. Or instead of arrow up, if we go here then we have some, as we can see in midville we have some icon. So by click on drag and drop actually we can put our own block here so let's say that we want to reorder our image at the topmost position so clicking on that by drag and drop actually we can put our image tag at the upper level so right here by clicking on this move up and move down we can reorder our blocks position to any of the created post or created pages so inside next video we will see some more block settings and blocks inside this gutten work tutorial so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day